Four years ago, I told you what would happen if Joe Biden got into office. I said he would throw open our borders, destroy our middle class, crush American energy. We were energy independent three years ago. Now we're asking Venezuela, can we have some of your oil, please? He was going to empower America's enemies, unleash misery throughout your state and throughout our country, bedlam and chaos at home and abroad. The only thing I didn't know is I didn't know how bad it would be. It's even worse. Everyone said I was exaggerating, but sadly, as the now famous saying goes, Trump was right about everything. I was right about Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the worst and most incompetent and most corrupt president in the history of our country. And today I issue another warning. If Crooked Joe gets four more years, his second term will make his first term look like paradise. We're not going to have a country left anymore. We're not going to let it happen. Obama was brutal. Biden happened to be along for the ride. I think maybe that's still happening, isn't it, huh? You know, whenever I say, you're President Barack Hussein Obama, they say, oh, he doesn't know who the president is. No, no, no. It's bad to be sarcastic with this group. When I do an imitation of him not being able to find the stairs, see how many stairs? We've got about five of them. I do an imitation. I go home. My wife said, darling, our great first lady, by the way, we have a great first lady. But I do an invitation, and I go home. She says, darling, you couldn't find the stairway out? No, it was an imitation. The fake news makes it sound like I couldn't find my way off the stage. When I mention certain names, they do. They are the worst. They are the worst. But hopefully someday they'll learn. You know, to make our country great, we have to have a fair and free press. It's very important. But we have a sick and corrupt, two-tiered system of justice in our country. Do I know better than anybody? As an example, it was just announced that Joe Biden, his Department of Injustice, will bring zero charges against Crooked Joe, despite the fact that he willfully retained, willfully retained and disclosed troves of ultra-classified national security documents. Now, that's not what I've been hearing, and he's not under the Presidential Records Act, which is a big thing. I am. It's a protective act. They're trying desperately to spin the Biden document disaster into a, oh, but wasn't Trump worse? No, 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 Trump was peanuts by comparison. That was 50 years, and he did a lot of it when he was at a very young age. He was mentally a little better than he is right now. But no, in actuality, I am covered by the very important Presidential Records Act, and therefore I did absolutely nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. But Biden wasn't president. Only the president is covered. It's a big deal. And he wasn't covered. Also, Biden took documents over this long-term period as a senator and as a vice president. Well, that you're not allowed to do. Much of this period, he was at a very strong state, and he was fine. He was probably, in terms of the intelligence of senators, he was probably, out of 100, he was probably in the 95 category. I'd say he was 95th on the list. He was never setting any records. He made recovery almost impossible. Recovery of documents. He made it almost impossible for the federal government to get them. In fact, he gave classified material to the writer of his book in total violation of just about everything. I cooperated with the very unfriendly and hostile feds. I cooperated far more than Biden did, who sent records to Chinatown and shipped them all over the place. He shipped them to Chinatown and all over the place. They don't, told, they don't tell you about that. 
He was even at Penn Biden Center. Do you know that he gets paid millions of dollars? Do you know that? You know who pays him? China. China. You have the Penn Center, right? Penn Biden Center. He gets paid millions of dollars. And they pay like close to $100 million to the school itself. And by the way, I went there. I went to a place called the Wharton School of Finance. And so I know all about Penn. I love Penn, but Penn is getting a little bit out there. And they were also sitting underneath his beautiful Corvette that he talks so much about in a very flimsy garage with one of those very cheap garage doors. You know, you can cut it open with a scissor. Does anybody have a scissor? I want to get some classified documents. Let's cut it open. It had no security, no secret service, no nothing. And certain members of the Biden family lived there. I wonder what they did with those very important documents. But they had no secret service people there because he wasn't president. And mar a is loaded with secret. We have more secret service. But Biden fought them all the way. I didn't. They're trying to make it the other way. No, Biden fought them very hard. And they never got what they wanted to get anyway. I even gave the DOJ and the FBI lunch at Mar-a-Lago. You know, they say I didn't behave. I gave them lunch. I said, have lunch at beautiful Mar-a-Lago, where they asked us to, do you mind, sir, doubling up the locks on the doors? Yeah, I'll double them up. We had locked doors. I'll double them up. And I did that. The discussions were good, and then they ended up with the now famous raid on Mar-a-Lago. We're having a talk, and they raided my house. They did it for publicity reasons. They did it for election interference reasons. They want to interfere with the election. So I guess they expected dinner, not lunch. I should have given them dinner, not lunch, I mean. If Biden is not going to be charged, he said, that's up to them. You know, look, if he's not going to be charged, that's up to them. But then I should not be charged. This is nothing more than selective persecution of Biden's political opponent, me. And I don't know that it's Biden, because I don't think he knows he's alive. But it's, it's vicious and very smart people that surround the Resolute Desk. You know what the Resolute Desk is? The most beautiful desk. You know, when you're president, they allow you to pick your desk. There are things that are very nice, they're very nice. And they have these unbelievable desks. One of them is the Resolute Desk. That's the one I took. And it had a tremendous history of presidents behind it. And uh, he has the same desk. I think he took it because he likes me so much, you know? He said, I want to use this. I want the same desk as President Trump had, but never has such a thing as what he's done with the weaponization of our government, DOJ, FBI. It's never taken place in our country. It only takes place in third world countries. This has never happened in our country before. And the local DAs are part of it, and the attorney generals are all a part of it. You saw what happened in Atlanta with Fani, F-A-N-I, Fani. How do you pronounce F-A-N-I? Fani. They interviewed her a year before. I would never have an affair with anybody in my office. Well, she had an affair. And they paid the guy almost a million dollars. The only way. And, it, and honestly, that just corrupts all of justice. And they spent a lot of time at the White House. You, you read that. It came out last week, right? Everybody read it? If you didn't read it, I'm telling you now, and I'm telling all the fake news back there. They spent a lot of time in the White House. And you know what they were talking about? How do we get Trump? How do we get him? He's been quite elusive over the years, hasn't he? He's been quite elusive. The only way to defeat this corrupt and weaponized system is to defeat crooked Joe Biden, to vote overwhelmingly for President Donald J. Trump in November, which is voting for yourselves under the Biden administration. Every facet of our government has been perverted, corrupted, and turned upside down and inside out. The Justice Department persecutes law-abiding gun owners and pro-life Christians while violent felons are released from jails by the thousands and thousands. A 95-year-old veteran is kicked out of 
a nursing home, 95-year-old veteran, a highly regarded veteran, to make way for an illegal alien that came into our country. Thank you.